hello and welcome to this new tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see how to open a port in Windows uh, server firewall a firewall system in networks and servers helps prevent unauthorized access to given computer resources the firewall system checks for the incoming or even the outgoing traffic and then makes decisions about them based on the rules that has been or that have been configured on the system so in this tutorial we will go through the steps that will allow us to open a port in a windows firewall what you see here is a windows server 2019 so step number one is opening the windows firewall so what you need to do is click the windows uh, key and then search for the term firewall with advanced security and then click on it to show it when it opens click on inbound rules on the left section and then choose a new rule on the top right section and then you should see a new inbound rule wizard open on the rule type screen choose port because we are going to allow the port but of course you can allow a program or uh, or you can have a custom rule click next on this page choose the type of port that you want to allow it can be a TCP or a UDP port and whether you want to allow all uh, TCP ports for example or just uh, some specific uh, local ports so let's choose TCP as the type of port and then choose a specific port which is 1433 and this is the port for uh, SQL Server click next on this page choose the action that you want to do with this port which is in our in our case allow the connection you can also choose to block the connection or to allow it only if it is secure I'm going to uh, leave the action as allow the connection and click next depending on what you want to do you can either uh, choose to apply this rule on the on the domain or to private networks or to public networks I'm going to keep everything checked and then click next on this page you can give the rule a name and a description I'm going to name it SQL Server uh, port 1433 and then click finish to finish the creation of the rule And you should see the rule created and enabled as you can see it here SQL Server port 1433 you can see that the rule here is enabled but if you want to disable it you can right click it and then do disable rule same thing if you want to enable it you right click and then you do enable rule I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank